Congresswoman Nancy May says there's damning evidence in the FBI file that you sold out the country. Do you have a response to the congressional Republicans? Where's the money? I'm joking. Mr. Mr. President, Mr. Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. Where's the money, you say, Joe? The House Oversight Committee found it. A big, 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 big clue. Look at this. A $200,000 check written by Joe's brother to Joseph R. Biden Jr. on March 1st of 2018. Uh, there's the money. Look, <laughs> once my brother gave me $50, I still haven't paid him back, and he still remembers it. $200,000? What's going on here? Joe Biden and James Biden. Now, James is Joe's little brother. And investigators and basically anybody in Delaware has known for a long, long time that Hunter and Jim worked together. The family business, you know, the Biden family name. These guys are out there selling it, selling access to Joe Biden, getting things done because they are Bidens. And 10% for the big guy? Let's take a look at that check. House Oversight Committee actually released this publicly today. It is, well, let's go through it. Number one, this is from Sarah and James Biden. James Biden is the brother of Joe, all right? And Sarah is Joe's sister-in-law. Next, please. This check is, just so we all understand, written to, yes, paid to the order of Joseph R. Biden Jr. R stands for Robinette, by the way. How much? How much? $200,000 and no cents. Just so there's no ambiguity here, let's take a look at when you have to write out, write out that number. $200,000 and zero cents. The little brother to the big brother. Um, and the date, March 1st, 2018. We'll come back to that in a bit. He's an ex-vice president at this point. And he's not yet running for president. Uh, why was this check written officially? You know that little memo thing you can write something on? Loan repayment. Loan repayment. Uh, Joe was loaning money to his brother. I've heard a million times how Joe was the poorest man in the Senate, right? How did he get this kind of money? Why, why would his brother need 200 Why did he go to a brother and not a bank? James Comer, House Oversight Committee chair, put this out along with a special video, raising some key points and asking some very important questions. In 2018, James Biden received $600,000 in loans from AmeriCorps, a financially distressed and failing rural hospital operator. According to bankruptcy court documents, James Biden received these loans, quote, based upon representations that his last name, Biden, could open doors and that he could obtain a large investment from the Middle East based on his political connections, end quote. Wow, we have the documents. That's exactly what the documents say. I'll go through that in a moment. Next, Congressman Comer. On March 1st, 2018, AmeriCorps wired a $200,000 loan into James and Sarah Biden's personal bank account, not their business bank account. And then on the very same day, James Biden wrote a $200,000 check from this same personal bank account to Joe Biden. This is amazing stuff. This is huge. It's being eclipsed right now by events in the Middle East and the fight for a new speaker. This, though, this is history. This is domestic political history and could portend the end of Joe Biden. This is a huge, huge problem and a huge, huge story. Next, please. Some immediate questions President Biden must answer for the American people. Does he have documents proving he lent such a large sum of money to his brother? And what were the terms of such financial agreement? Did he have similar financial agreements with other family members that led them to make similar large payments to him? And did he know that the same day James Biden wrote him a check for $200,000, James Biden had just received a loan for the exact same amount from business dealings with a company that was in financial distress and failing. And that company is or was AmeriCorps Holdings. Now, we try to call them for a comment, but you can't get them anymore because they're bankrupt. They went bankrupt. And as they were folding, they sued uh, James Biden for the money that they were owed that he took from the company. 
This is not that long ago. This is uh, last year, 2022. Uh, United States Bankruptcy Court in the Eastern District of Kentucky, AmeriCorps versus James Biden. And inside, they established, uh, let's go through this, shall we? On January 12th of 2018, AmeriCorps Health was transferred the sum of $400,000 to defendant's bank account at PNC Bank, located in Philadelphia. Remember, the defendant here is, as we saw a moment ago, James Biden, brother of the president. Next, please. On March 1st of 2018, AmeriCorps Health Wire transferred, wire transferred the sum of $200,000 to defendant Biden's bank account at the same bank in Philadelphia. Uh, and based upon representations that his last name, Biden, could open doors and that he could obtain a large investment from the Middle East base from the Middle East based on his political connections. Yeah, political connections because it's now been very well established by the Senate investigators, by the Oversight Committee, the the Biden family, they have no real skill, no marketing whatsoever, other than, hey, we're Bidens. We can talk to people. We can talk to Joe. This is a lot of money. We had the check enlarged slightly, Ed McMahon style. I think this is a very serious and significant piece of history. $200,000 from James Biden to Joe Biden. Joe made his brother a $200,000 loan. After a lifetime of service, Joe once said, actually more than once, he said all the time that he had no money and everybody was richer than Joe. I was illicit for all the years I was a senator, the poorest man in the United States Congress. I had the dubious distinction of being listed as the poorest man in Congress for 36 years. I had the great pleasure of being listed as the poorest man in Congress for 36 years. So a year after you leave, barely a year after you're writing your brother checks for $200,000. And your brother's been in the private sector for a long time. He's the one who has the money. What is happening here? His whole identity wrapped up in, in fooling us about what a Middle class guy he is, right? Even lower middle class, right, Joe? I view this campaign as between Scranton and Park Avenue. All Trump sees from Park Avenue is Wall Street. That's why the only metric of the American prosperity for him is the value of the Dow Jones. Like a lot of you, I spent a lot of my life with guys like Donald Trump looking down on me. Looking down on the people who make a living with their hands. People who take care of our kids, clean our streets. What is he talking about? Joe's never fixed anything. He's never done anything with his hands. College to law school to the city council to the Senate to the vice presidency. Guy doesn't know anything about manual labor. And spare me the talk about the old man who was rich and a bit of a operator himself. You know, at one point he owned an airport. The old man was fine. Uh, so James and his wife. This is James Biden and his wife, Sarah. They're the ones who wrote the check. They actually look like they're quite well-to-do here. You got to remember this, James and Hunter. So the brother of the president and the son of the president, you can see him here back in 2008 with Jill in the middle. They were traveling the world together, doing all kinds of work together. And this is all making sense. Now, I have to go to the date on that check one more time. When was it? March 1st of 2018. Now... We actually, from the laptop, have some communication between Hunter and James Biden in March of 2018. And they seem to be talking maybe about this money. From Hunter to Jim, we can talk, but you've been drawn into something purely for the purpose of protecting dad. And I know any of the BS money is mine ultimately. Uh, okay, I mean, you know, it's 10% for the big guy, but there's also sometimes maybe, you know, he's got to get his 90% first. I don't know. I don't know. But this is bad. Don't you think? It certainly. Next, please. Also, in the same month, uh, a few months later, nine months later, in the same year, from Jim to Hunter, I can work with your father alone. We, as usual, just need several months of his help for this to work. As usual, they need the father hanging around for months to help. This is uh, highly, highly incriminating. And so is this. I did not know he was on the board 
of that company. I've never discussed my business or their business, my sons or daughters. I did my job. I never discussed a single thing with my son about anything having to do with Ukraine. No one has indicated I have. We've always kept everything separate. I have never discussed with my son or my brother or anyone else anything having to do with their businesses, period. It's just muscle memory. It has nothing to do with the truth. You see that last clip, the one before this one. We've always kept everything separate. What, what is he talking? What's separate? What does he mean by this? I did my job. I never discussed a single thing with my son about anything having to do with Ukraine. No one has indicated I have. We've always kept everything separate. Everything separate. His initiatives, his outreach to these countries, they're doing it on their own. They come together in the form of private checks after the fact. I don't know. What do you think? I think Tony Bobolinsky, we got to talk about him. He may be the real hero in all this stuff. You know, Tony Bobolinsky uh, met the Bidens in early 20, May of 2017 when Joe Biden went to speak at the Milken Institute in Los Angeles. And the night before, Tony meets with the Bidens and he's pretty shocked at the way they conduct themselves. On May 2nd, 2017, the night before Joe Biden was to appear at the Milken Conference, I was introduced to Joe Biden by Jim Biden and Hunter Biden. At, approx and a, at my approximately hour-long meeting with Joe that night, we discussed the Biden's history, the Biden's family business plans with the Chinese, with which he was plainly familiar, at least at a high level, regarding the allocation of the equity ownership of Sinohawk. On May 13, 2017, I received an email concerning allocation of equity, which says 10% held by H for the big guy. In that email, there's no question that H stands for Hunter, big guy for his father, Joe Biden. Hunter often referred to his father as the big guy or my chairman. On numerous occasions, it was made clear to me that Joe Biden's involvement was not to be mentioned in writing, but only face to face. Wow. What do you make of this, huh? I think it's huge. And you know it's huge. This check, $200,000 from the brother to the principal, to the big guy himself in March of 2018. You know what was happening in March of 2018? Joe Biden was not running for president. It wasn't a done deal. That whole thing about Charlottesville, he made up his mind, that's another lie. He was not convinced that he could do it. A lot of other people weren't convinced. So. Maybe he thought, hey, no one's looking. We can just we can just do this a bit more openly than we than we normally did. I'm told that there are a lot more where this came from. That the investigation continues and this is the tip of the iceberg.